Godzilla the Animated Series is basically a continuization of the 1998 film, and wow, it actually does a really good job at continuing the story and giving us, well, a lot more than what we got in the film. Nick Nectitopolis and a few characters from the film uh, continue their journey um, in tracking Godzilla. Now, of course, this is the baby Godzilla. Spoiler alert. Godzilla dies at the end of the film, and there's a baby Godzilla. Well, this Godzilla grows up, and it takes Nick Nectitopolis as its mom, so now he kind of, like, controls it. Well, this show fixed a lot of major problems with the film. Um, it gave them more, more of a character. Um, it made them likable. Uh, there's other creatures for Godzilla to fight. Godzilla has fire breath now, or nuclear breath, whatever you want to call it. And, um, yeah, there's actual villains. Um, it's a pretty good show. Animation doesn't hold up too well, uh, for the time. And some of the plot lines are goofy and over the top, but it did have me laughing at several jokes. There's a lot of throwbacks to both the Heisei and Showa fran uh, era films and uh, to the Godzilla franchise as a whole and it's actually an entertaining show Godzilla the animated series is a 7 out of 10